How to fix the boot configuration data for your PC is missing or contains errors in Windows 11. First start your PC and press the power button while it tries to load Windows to force it to shut down. Do this three times in a row to get the automatic repair screen. You could also disconnect it from the outlet. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Startup Repair. Select your account. Type in your password, if you don't have one just press continue. Now wait for Windows 10 to be repaired. If that didn't work, click on troubleshoot. Click on advanced options. Click on Command Prompt. Select your account. Type in your password and if you don't have one just press Continue. Now type bootrec slash fix MBR and then press enter. Type bootrec slash fix boot and then press enter. If you get access denied, type the following command and then try again. Type bootrec slash fixboot and then press enter. Type bcd edit slash export c slash bid backup and then press enter. Type a trib c slash boot slash bcd hyphen h hyphen r hyphen s and then press enter. Type ren c slash boot slash bcd space bcd dot old and then press enter. Type boot rec slash rebuild bcd and then press enter. Type Y and then press Enter.
Type exit and then press enter. Press continue to restart. If that didn't work, click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Press System Restore. Select your account. Press Next. Select your latest restore point. Press Next. Press Finish. Press Yes. Now wait for your PC to be restored. Now your PC should be restored. Press Restart. If that didn't work, press reset this PC. Select if you want to keep your personal files. Select your account. Type in your password and if you don't have one just press continue. Press reset. Now wait for Windows to reset. If that didn't work, click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Command Prompt.
Select your account. Type in your password and if you don't have one just press continue. Drive. Yours, etc. Now weird. Type eggs cmd if that didn't back to command prompt slash scan now and then now wait for windows to be exit the command prompt yes and press enter to